Um, so thanks, Craig, for the opportunity um, to present about the calculating daily dose in the OMO of CDM. We've recently published this paper in the pharmaco uh, drug PD PDS <laughs> drug uh, sa and safety. And um, there was a special issue on reproducibility, so we thought this was quite a fitting topic. So daily dose, I mean, it's been talked about a lot, but it's actually not. Hang on, my colleague needs to switch off their microphone. <laughs> OK, um, so basically daily dose is can be estimated from drug strength and drug exposure. And I hope you're familiar with drug strength. There is different possibilities on how data can be. Be like how the concepts are either you have the amount items filled or numerator and denominator. And in total, we only wanted to look at the clinical relevant units like milligram, milliliter, hour, actuation um, and so on. And so we are only working within 41 individual patterns, whereas the whole drug strength has 125 rows. So these are the dose formula. I mean, they're not rocket science. They're quite, um, <laughs> quite logic. So it's basically amount times quantity divided by duration for if you have the amount patterns and if you're within the numerator denominator patterns, um, there is, it depends whether your unit is time or not. And I won't go into details of these formulas, um, but they're there and they've been validated and tested. Um, so you can use these daily dose, you can um, add it to any cohort you want by using this function in the drug utilization package. And if you're using this particular function, you will get the dose, the daily dose overall and stratified by unit, unit and root and unit and root and drug strength pattern. And why we think uh, this is beautiful, uh, we're going to see in a little bit. So here, uh, it's also from the paper where we took, I think, seven databases and six drugs, and we just wanted to see how they compare with the WHO DDD. So the, the defined daily dose, which is kind of a standard measure. And um, here we see the dose calculation by unit. And by unit, it's important. So for example, in Ipsi and Noxaparin, you see that this drug, which is a syringe, can be either has either concepts with milligram or an international unit. I highlighted the ones that kind of are stand well, they're kind of far away from the WHO DDD, but as you can see, they're very few. And also, I want to go a bit in detail on teotropium and fentanyl, especially because they have a different WHO DDD depending on the dose form for teotropium, but also the root in fentanyl. So if we're looking at teotropium daily dose, here you see the results uh, stratified by root and drug strength pattern. So here are all by inhalation, so there's no kind of um, distinction between them. But here you see the individual patterns and the stratum, the first row of CPRD gold, the fixed amount milligram just means that it's an amount pattern and the unit is milligram. Whereas the second row means that the numerator is milligram and the actuation, the denominator's actuation and the denominator value is missing. And um, here we see that we can beautifully differentiate whether we're looking at the inhalable powder or the inhalable solution. Just by going into the drug strength um, level, we can differentiate between, between different dose forms. And also highlighted in blue, the ones that uh, are kind of outliers, but most of them nicely align. Now uh, we're going to look at fentanyl. And here we see that the WHO DDD depends on root. And here I'm just showing you one detail of the Acuvia Disease Analyzer Germany. And you see that the individual uh, root strata have different pattern strata. And some of them don't are not good, and some of them are good. So we think that this 
detail of going down to the pattern is quite valuable if you want to make like if you want to kind of narrow down your concepts to make sure you're getting the right concepts um, in, in case the dose you need to stratify by dose or the dose is relevant. So strength and limitation of this approach, it's systematic, it's structured. We have root daily dose stratified by root and drug strength patterns. We have benchmarked the dose formulas against the WHO DDD. All of this has been implemented in an R package, the drug utilization. And on the downside, I mean, of course, the SICK would be more precise to, to have a daily dose value, but there is no standard dice present representation yet in OMOP and the ingredients and databases we chose might not be totally representative of the entire OMOP spectrum. And like you've seen the example um, for enoxaparin in Ipsi, um, we cannot, like there's no standardized harmonization of international units in milligram. So we, you will always get um, the, two, the two numbers in case there is, but there's very few. So yeah, with that, um, I suggest we provide the, the standardized methodology for calculating daily dose in OMOP CDM. And um, we think that these dose formulas enhance the reliability, transparency, and reproducibility of estimating daily dose in the OMOP CDM. And of course, this would not have been possible uh, without a large team. So members from Odyssey Eden, Darwin EU, and the whole team of Danny Prieto Alhambra. So yeah, I guess with that, I stayed within my seven or eight minutes. <laughs> Thank you.